let's talk about how to get 10,000 steps even though the weather is getting colder. I'm someone who works hard to get 10,000 steps as many days as possible. So I have a few tried and true tips to help me reach that goal even when walking outside is out of the question because the weather has cooled down. My first tip for getting your 10,000 steps in when the weather is colder is to housewalk. Housewalking simply means walking around your house. I can often be found pacing back and forth from my office to my husband's office because it's a pretty straight, clear path, and it allows me to take one to two minute breaks just to get a little bit of movement in, pacing back and forth. It's a couple steps. It's not gonna get me a tremendous amount of steps, but it's going to give me the opportunity for a movement break when I need to take even just 60 seconds to get up and get moving and get a couple of steps in the process. Whether you have a bigger house where you can actually cover a little bit of distance or you have more limited space where you end up kind of pacing back and forth or running to different parts of your house, don't underestimate the power of simply housewalking. Moving on to the next tip, and that is to take advantage of your errands and your outings. I don't know about you, but where I'm from and where I am, mall walking is actually a really big thing. I grew up where my main mall was Woodfield Mall, which is actually a pretty big mall in the Chicagoland area, and now I live near the Mall of America. Both malls actually have like mall walking signage and groups and clubs and people mall walking all the time. They go for the reason to walk, not necessarily to shop. Now, you know your girl is a shopper, so I will actually multitask and take advantage of the concept of mall walking when I'm running my errands by doing that before I actually do my shopping. So whether I'm going to the mall for an adventurous day and a few hours out to window shop and check out my favorite boutiques, or if I'm just going to the grocery store, when I need to get a couple of extra steps, I will take a lap before I actually do my shopping. So you get that heavy dose of steps right at the beginning and then you start your shopping or your grocery shopping and you're still walking through the store or the mall. This can give you quite a few steps even if you're just doing a lap in the grocery store. It can add up to a few hundred to over a thousand steps and you haven't even started shopping yet. I love mall walking and taking advantage of my errands. Now, before I move on to the next tip, since we are on the subject of the grocery store, if you're interested in what I recommend to my clients as a shopping list when they start working with me for macro tracking, then you're gonna wanna click the link down below to join my mailing list because when you do, you're gonna get sent my macro-friendly grocery list for free. It's gonna be a great beginner's guide to help you figure out what foods qualify as what macronutrients, and it is a list that I give all of my clients and use myself when I want to be strictly macro focused to know what are the best protein sources, what are the best carb sources, what are the best combo foods. All of it is in this grocery list. The link for that is in the description. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the next tip for how to get 10,000 steps as the weather cools down, and that is to be less efficient with your household chores. What does that even mean? Well, hear me out because nobody actually wants to be less efficient, right? But when you are less efficient at your household chores, it means that you have to do more movement to get the same chores done. A couple of examples are when you go to empty the dryer, we put all of our laundry in a basket and carry it to its destination, right? Well, what about if instead you only grabbed what you could carry and walked that over to its destination and instead you were required to make two or three trips instead of one? Now, this isn't much of an advantage if your laundry room is right next to your bedroom or wherever the destination is, but if your laundry room is on the other side of the house, this can end up being quite a few extra steps simply because you opted to be less efficient. A few other examples of this are carrying your grocery bags one at a time instead of trying to load up five or six bags on one arm and see just how strong your bicep muscles are. Taking one thing or smaller loads up and down the stairs, which requires you not only to get more steps up and down the stairs, but stairs are also a great mild cardio workout and strength training for your legs if you are going up and down a lot of them. And you could even empty one dish from the dishwasher at a time. This will be slightly more steps, but it'll also be, at least the way my kitchen is structured, a little bit more of an ab workout. Cause you gotta turn, you gotta bend, all of a sudden you've got some core work in there, and it ends up being overall a slightly more active experience. Being less efficient, yes, it does take more time, but the results will be twofold. You will be getting your chores done and getting steps in the process. 
My next tip is pretty simple, and that is to take advantage of any opportunity you have to have access to an elliptical machine or a treadmill. This is pretty straightforward. Whether you have access to those things at your gym or you have them in your house, what you're going to have to do is be disciplined and actually plan in a little bit more time to earn those steps on those machines. No, it's not always what we want to be doing, but when we are walkers who go outside and we no longer have that as an option or we no longer want to be doing it because it's simply too cold, we have to take it upon ourselves to be disciplined enough to get those steps elsewhere. And hopping on the treadmill or getting on the elliptical is the really easy answer. So when you go to work out and you do your weight training or whatever it is you do, go ahead and buffer in an extra 20 to 30 minutes to just hop on a treadmill or elliptical and walk. You don't even have to run or anything. You can just go at a nice leisurely pace and your steps will count. You will get those extra steps just by doing those things. If you don't have access to either of those things, we are living in the day and age of the walking pad, the small, thin, treadmill-like thing that can actually fit underneath your couch or in a corner, and they're actually not all that expensive, all things considered. So if you Google walking pad, or if you look for a walking pad on Amazon, a ton of things will pop up, and you can get your hands on one of those pretty easily, and you can use it while you're watching television, or while you're on phone calls, or just when you need a little walking break. Not gonna lie, a walking pad is kind of on my wish list this year, because I would love to have that opportunity to do something like up here in my office when I just need to take five instead of needing to go downstairs and like block out time to do the elliptical machine. Whatever you have access to, take advantage of the opportunity to get the extra steps. Tip number five for how to get 10,000 steps now that the weather is getting colder is completely underrated and that is step in place. I used to suggest this as a tip to do during commercial breaks when you're watching TV in the evening, but now we live in the day and age of ad-free streaming, so suggesting that people do this during commercial breaks is kind of irrelevant. So once again with the discipline, you need to make the choice to get up and do this, but it's literally just standing up and walking in place. Step and move your arms, and lo and behold, the step count is gonna go up. Now, you do have to move your arms in order for it to genuinely count to your body. Yes, could we swing our arms around and have it count on our trackers? Absolutely, the tracker doesn't know, but our body will. So don't cheat yourself by trying to cheat the system and just moving your arms. But get up while you're watching TV, even five minutes at a time, and just step in place. Will you feel silly? Yeah. Will you be glad you did it? Also, yeah. I hope this helps you feel prepared for the cooler weather so you can go out or stay in and still reach your 10,000 step goal even though it's cold outside. Leave a comment down below telling me which tip was your favorite or if you have a different tip that I might have missed. Let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't joined the Diva in the Divine community, we'd love to have you. Just click that little red subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.